A replica of the witness blanket has been on display at the Leicester Center of the Arts in Prince Rupert for the month of May. Before it moved on as part of its nationwide tour, residential school survivors from the Northwest were afforded an opportunity to stand in front of the National Monument to speak and share their personal stories. Truth telling, having that space for truth telling is just one of the priorities is, is always telling the truth because in residential school we were always shut down, right? We were always told to be quiet and even children of survivors, you know, were always raised in the day school survivors, always told to be quiet, always told to not tell the truth, always said nobody's going to believe you. And so having ceremonies like this, it's really important for the, for the survivors. The event, which was organized by the Indian Residential School Survivor Society, had survivors and their families come up one by one to share the atrocities they experienced to their community as well as local leaders. It's a powerful day and an important day and being here with the witness blanket and with the survivors, uh, it's just it's an opportunity for reflection and an opportunity to honor and support the people who've been who've been so deeply affected by residential schools. I'm glad to see people from all across the Northwest here. Uh, it's an important day. It's also a very significant day in the fact that we're at the one year point of when the 215 uh, children's remains were rediscovered, I guess you could say, in Kamloops. So yeah, today's a pretty significant day and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Though events like these are crucial for the healing process, Robert says that the work is far from over. We need to keep healing and, and we have a lot of allies and supporters, you know, that stand with us. It's not just the survivors and the families. We all come together. That is what reconciliation is. And that's what we've been doing for since 1995. We've been doing this and, and it was just given the title reconciliation, you know, and, and but it defined what we've already done, what we've been doing and where we're going with continuing on with the healing. For CFDK TV News, I'm Eddie Huband in Prince Rupert.